Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome back to Man vs Film. It's time for one of the most terrifying things as a movie fan, a new Netflix original movie. Where is it going to land? Is it going to be utter nonsense? Kind of brilliant? Or like most of them, just fall slap bang in the middle of complete meh. Not that interesting. Well, When We First Met is a comedy that follows in the mighty footsteps of Groundhog's Day and, well, Edge of Tomorrow, I suppose, kind of. But it also kind of follows in the footsteps of Naked and Happy Death Day by repeating the same scenario over and over again for comedic purposes. The movie is all about the main character Noah, played by Adam Devine, and he wants to keep replaying this same night over and over again. The night that he had his chance with the love of his life, Avery, played by Alexander Daddario. And he keeps messing up and he keeps making things worse and worse and keeps having to go back into it. To facilitate this, the magical item this time isn't like a, a palm reader like in Big or anything like that. This is just a photo booth. He goes into it, puts a quarter in, bam, he's back to that night where he can do things again. It doesn't make a lack of sense. It's not supposed to. It's wild, wacky and kind of funny. And it's all about this situation. It is driven by Adam Devine's comedy humour. And this is a guy that I really do kind of like. And Mike and Dave need wedding dates. I thought it was really funny along with Zac Efron. I've seen him in other things including Workaholics. And I do kind of like the guy. So I was excited to check this out. The story is as conventional as you think it is going to be. There is nothing new here at all. It is following familiar ground we have seen again. So it's kind of a parody of a parody. It's repeating the same scenario over and over again. Much like this movie is repeating the same scenario we've seen in other movies. The character of Noah is fun, but ultimately he's just a cipher for this neurotic guy to find the love of his life. The movie goes through several scenarios, making them about as funny as they could possibly be. There is some slight chuckles, but it's never laugh out loud funny. And it's always kind of on the safe side of the entertainment or comedy spectrum, as you would expect it to be. It goes through a few of these scenarios before you start to realise the end game, before he realises the end game. And when you figure out the little twist that's in the movie, you really want it to get to that finishing line a lot quicker than what it does. It overstays its welcome, which brings it down ever so much. At a certain point in the movie, you know where it's going to end, and you just wish that they had not dragged it out as much as what they had. The characters are fun, the situations are fun. To see Noah uh, change because of how he spends this one night is kind of fun as well, because he becomes super douchey or super amazing or super successful. But it's never quite the life that he wants to have with Avery. Still, it's on Netflix. It's an easy watch. It's one of those ones that you don't even need to think about. You can just switch it on, disengage the brain. You will get some laughs out of it. Not a lot, but ultimately by the time the movie finishes, it will start to leave your brain instantaneously. It's not a movie that's going to last with you. It's not a movie that is going to resonate with you or one that you're going to recommend or talk about with other people. But it's not bad. It doesn't look particularly bad, the acting's fine, the storyline's good enough, the humour's kinda funny sometimes, it's just completely middle of the road every which way about it, which is why I gave when we first met two and a half out of five. Nah, there's nothing special about it. I'd love to know your thoughts on the movie though, so let me know in the comment box below what you thought of the film, and I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.